Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can solve trig functions on the Sharp EL738 financial calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key that looks like this located here, the break-even key that looks like this located here with the green D on it, as well as the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine keys located right here that have the second functions of sine, cosine, tan, arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan. Just a heads up, all these examples will be in degrees, so make sure your calculator says DEG at the top of the screen here. If it doesn't, you can turn this on by pressing the setup key, and then one here for DRG, and then zero to highlight DEG. If you're working with radians or gradients, you'll want to pick one or two for that. But for us, we're using degrees, so we'll go zero. Now, if you want to do something basic, like say the sine of 30 degrees, first we turn on sine, so we go second function and then seven for sine. We'll see it at the top of the screen here, and then our 30 degrees and hit equals. And we see that sine of 30 degrees is 0.5. For cosine, we use the 8 key. So again, we go second, 8. If we want to find cosine of 30, enter the 30 and press equals. And we see this gives us 0 0.8660, etc. Which, yep, that's correct. And for tan, we use the 9 key. So for tan of 30, again, second, tan, and then the 30, and press equals. And we see tan of 30 degrees gives us 0 0.5774, etc. Easy enough. What about arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan? Well, to do that, we use the 4, 5, and 6 buttons here indicated by sine to the power of negative 1, cosine to the power of negative 1, and tan to the power of negative 1. These arc functions are used to go from the result, say the 0 0.5, back and determine how many degrees were used. So for example, if we wanted to do arc sine of 0.5, it should give us 30 degrees. Let's take a look. So we go second, 4, that's our arc sine, we see the sine to the power of negative 1, enter the 0.5, and press equals, and we see we get 30 degrees. Yep, that's correct. Let's try arc cos, and for this we'll use a rounded number because we don't want to enter all those decimals, so we'll just use this. So we go second, arc cos, there we go. 0 0.8660 equals, and we get something that would round to 30 degrees. Arc tan, again, second, six in this case, that's our tan, and then 0.5774 equals, again, gives us something that would round to 30 degrees. We can also determine cosecant, secant, and cotangent on this calculator by using the inverse key. That's the BRKV key right here. It looks like this, located here. To do this, we first do the associated sine, cosine, or tangent function, and then inverse it with this key. So, for example, for cosecant, first we do sine of 30 degrees, second, 7 for sine, 30, there we go, that's what sine of 30 gives us, and then we need to inverse this with this key here, the second function of that, so second, there we go, answer to the power of negative 1, and this gives us 2, so we know the cosecant of 30 degrees is equal to 2. For secant, we use cos, so second cos 30 degrees 
equals, that's what we got. And then we can inverse this again. Second, there we go. And equals, this gives us 1.154, etc. Which, yep, that's correct. And finally, cotangent uses tan. So again, second, tan, 30. That gave us 0.5774, etc. And then second, break even, there we go. Gave us 1.732, etc. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.